away from Serengeti Premium Light kuna bonge moja la info amazing na kupatia bia ya kizazi nchini mm. yani the only light with the bite wanakuambia serebuka with every bite Yes, that's what's up. Ile ladha ambayo unaipata katika Byte na katika Serengeti Premium Light na ni vizuri pia ukaipata huku kiserebuka. Wewe pamoja na washikaji zako. So unaambiwa serebuka with every bite popote pale with your friends pamoja na washikaji kwa bei ya kishikaji. Means what? Unapata mm. zile Serengeti Light zako saba kwa shilingi 1010. Not simple all, like that. Simple like that. Not only that Serengeti Premium Light got something special for all the chewy lovers. NAD includes I'll be born. Stay tuned mm. with the massive campaign as a with every bite straight out Serengeti Premium Light. The only light with the bite. Lots of gifts from Chewy coming your way. Wana kuambia hayuzwi wala kusambazwa kwa walio na umbri chini ya meka kumina, kumina nane. nane. Now so, of course, tukumbushane tu, kunywa, Instagram, that's what's up. Okay. Yeah, so man. yes, guys, time ya Chucky Johnny right now. Mm -hmm. And of oh, course, yeah. we told the little to put Madam Rita right here when you the switch and my story keep out. Mm -hmm. So stick around and not go nowhere. Oh, yeah. Wow. yeah. It's all about following. Chucky Johnny. Chucky Johnny. Switch. Yes, time ya Chucky Johnny right now. Mm -hmm. Yes, so kama kawa kwenye Chucky Johnny, no semo kipigia simu na mwenyeza cha. Kijani. Ukipokea simu na mwenyeza cha. Kijani. All right. So before sinia mtabulisha leo, tukuna nani kwenye Chucky Johnny. Mm -hmm. Kwanza kabisa. Mm. Huyu ni mshikaji wake wa karibu sana, 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 sana. No. Na Madam Rita. Okay. <laughs> Utamjua tu. Ni mshikaji wa karibu sana na Madam Rita so tumepeja nae story mbili tatu leo watu chane kusiana na Madam Rita sinaelewa vizuri. Mm -hmm. So ata 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 mfamu baada ya hapo ambapo atajitambulisha. Kwanza kabisa atajitambulisha anaitwa nani? Then atuambie umefahamiana vipi na Madam Rita mpaka kupelekea kuwa marafiki wa karibu sana. Mm -hmm. Mimi naitwa Anne Bella Cleopatra. Ninamfahamu Madam Rita for the past 20 years actually. Na ninavomzungumzia Rita Paulson. Madam Rita, my ndugu, number one, ni mtu wangu wa karibu sana. She's my best friend, mtu wangu wa karibu sana zaidi hata ya ndugu. Na tunashirikiana mambo mengi sana kwenye shida na raha. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Surprise! Oh, yeah. Where do you get her from? She likes weights. Um, katika kipindi chote cha urafiki wenu, unamuelezea vipi Madam Rita na vitu gani ambavyo umevi notice kutoka kwake? Oh, Rita Paulson, Madam Rita, she's very kind. Ni mtu mwenye huruma na ana upendo mwingi sana. Ni mwanamke mpambanaji, akitaka kitu chake atafanya juu chini mpaka kifanyike. Rita ni mvumilivu na hakati tamaa, hata akikatishwa tamaa. Oh yeah. Mm. Na Madam Rita ni mtu wa ah, emotions sana. <laughs> Katika urafiki wenu ni kitu gani? Easy yo. Hold up. Hold <laughs> so tunaendelea kupiga sorry na rafiki yake wa karibu sana Madam Rita. Kwanza kabisa pia uh, Madam Rita ni mtu wa emotions sana na katika urafiki wenu ni kitu gani ambacho uliwahi kukishuhudia kiliwahi kumuumiza sana na alikuwa na wakati mgumu sana. Katika urafiki wetu na Madam Rita mm. Uh, mm. kipindi ambacho nimewahi kumuona akiwa very emotion, emotional katika amepitia kicho kuumia sana na alikuwa na wakati mgumu na kumbuka wakati alipopata alipata ajali alipopata ajali akavunjika mguu kusema kweli hicho kipindi kilikuwa kigumu sana and she was very emotional na mguu ulimsumbua kwa muda mrefu hicho kitu kusema kweli kil, kilimuumiza sana hata sisi watu tunaomzunguka tuliumia naye sana sababu unajua madam Rita anapenda sana high heels and hakuweza kuvaa na alikuwa kwa kweli ule mguu ulimpa maumivu makali yeah Okay. <laughs> ni vitu gani nje hiki anachokifanya kwenye industry? <laughs> Anapenda kukifanya kwenye maisha ya kawaida. 
She's a dream changer. Anapenda kubadili maisha ya, wa, ya watu na kama unavona hao vijana wa Bongo Star Search, anapenda kuona maisha yao yanakuwa for the better. So nimekana Rita kwa muda mrefu na I saw her dream come true. Alipoanzisha Bongo Star Search from season 1 paka juzi amezindua season 11. Niko naye karibu sana na nimeona alivyopitia changamoto nyingi sana. Lakini alipambana na hakukata tamaa. I admire her strength. Oh yes. Mm. Lakini pia ni kitu gani ambacho huwa mkiwa pamoja kama marafiki anapenda sana kufanya. Madam Rita, she loves to celebrate life. Anapenda anapenda kusafiri, anapenda watu. She just life, she's full of life. Ni mrembo, ana, anapenda fashion, anajipenda, anapenda nywele zake, different styles and yeah, she's she, she's she's Madam Rita. Like oh that. yeah, she is Madam Rita. Mm. So, unajua kabisa kwenye so, urafiki. <laughs> Unajua kwenye urafiki kuna kuna kukosana, kuna kugombana, kuna kuwa sawa. Mm. So natamani kujua kwa upande wenu ulishoe kutokea katika urafiki wenu mkazingwana sana na ilikwaje. <laughs> oh, mi na Madam Rita kusema kweli. Anyway, before saying that, navo, I believe kwenye urafiki wa wote, kwenye uhusiano wote, yani bila kugombana, mi na I always say uo sio urafiki ni unafiki. Yaani kugombana ni lazima. But it's a bit different between me and, and Madam Rita kwa sababu yani hata watu wanaotuzunguka they always say tuko kama unajua wale watoto wanaofuatana. Tunapendana sana, lakini pia tunazinguana sana. But tukizinguana haichukuagi muda. Yaani tuna vitu, yani tunakuaga kama watoto sometimes. Tunazinguana, tuna tuna tunapatana, tunazinguana baada ya dakika kuna tano tumeshapatana it's ni kawaida yetu but i think because we love each other so much we, there's too much love between us lakini mwaka huu mimi i was talking to her tena last week too nikamwambia Rita uh, kuna mtu wetu wa karibu sana amefariki mwaka huu ambaye alikuwa anatuchokoza sana tukigombana yani whenever tukituona anatuliza vipi mmenuniana leo au mnaongea <laughs> so it was a joke so nilimwambia Rita kwa heshima ya huyu mtu wetu wa karibu ambaye ametuacha sitaki tena kugombana naye. Yaani itakuwa hatuzinguani. Yaani whatever happens I'll be laughing. So, yeah, huo ndio usiano wetu. But it's always fun when we recall vitu vyetu. Sometimes vitu very minor. Yeah, but we enjoy and it makes us, you know, our relationship inazidi kuwa strong. But from now onwards no more kuzinguana. Mimi mimi nimedelete kuzinguana. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Na ukitaka kujua Madam Rita yuko kwenye mood nzuri siku hiyo hata bila kukwambia wewe unamjua vipi. Nafahamu vizuri sana pia uh, Madam Rita kiasi ambacho akinipigia simu from hello nina ninajua kama she's happy or she's sad but akiwa kwenye good good yani very good mood when she calls me anapenda tu ukisikia ndugu ndugu hapo uh, najua yani Madam Madam today she's very happy Okay you guys are mad. <laughs> Dream yake kubwa ambayo amekuwa akikushirikisha kama rafiki yake ni ipi? Pia niliona dream yake nyingine she alikuwa na dream ya kufanya kipindi kama Oprah Winfrey na alipambana, ali make sure na alihakikisha kipindi hicho amekianzisha uh, Rita Paulson show and I'm very proud of her manake yani akiamua kitu chake anahakikisha kinafanyika. So hicho pia it was her second dream nili witness iki, iki, iki come true. Okay. So la mwisho katika maisha yake ni kitu gani anakizungumzia kuja kukifanya kwenye maisha yake? Okay, tukiongea vitu vingi mm-hmm. anani uh, she mentioned kwamba atakuja kuandika kitabu. So I'm looking forward to read her book one of these days and um, what else? I think that's all. But I love her so much. I wish her all the best. Okay, so huyu alikuwa ni rafiki wa karibu sana 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 na Madam Rita. Na tumepiga naye story mbili tatu ameweza kutuchana vingi ambapo pengine hatukuwahi kujua before kutoka kwa Madam Rita. So that's it kwenye chaki, yani. You already know.
Tumempata mbali sana. This is the switch by the way. Yes. Na hongera pia kwa hiyo dream ya kitabu ya. Yeah, yeah. hongera sana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah can talk. Asante, asante, asante. Yeah. By the way, karibu sana kwenye the switch. Sana. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's my best friend. Ndugu. 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 Alafu sio mtu wa mitandao, sio mtu wa yani haiko kwenye industry. Mm. How did you get her? <laughs> it is the switch. It is the switch. How did you get her? It is the switch. Paka kawakubalia kuongea. This is the switch, madam. We are the best. Tumembaza tumembaza mbali sana 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 sana. Number one entertainment. Number one entertainment show. Hawakutoa tu reports za kusema kwamba ndo show namba moja ya vijana hivi. Surprise sana nikitoka hapa na nimeenda. Na kitu ambacho tulikuwa tumeplan ni kuku surprise. So tunataka tumpate yule mtu ambaye kweli utakuwa surprise. She's my best friend. Kama nilivyosema we like sisters man. Wow. Ah nitachekaje baadaye. So ndoto ya kitabu ni mwaka huu au bado unaendelea na hiyo plan? Ah uh, I'm doing my memo then meanza kuke ni kitu ambacho nataka nikifanye because mm. I've been through a lot na fikiri uh, some of the things people don't know and I want to inspire our to mm. wasichana wengine na mm. yeah it is it will be coming soon oh, uh, maybe yeah. I want to do a documentary in the book Oh yeah, oh, okay. ya kizazi sana hiyo. Yeah. So guys, tupo na Madam Rita Ray here kwenye The Switch tupigane yeah. na story kibao. Oh yes. You already know not gonna wear. Lakini tunafahamu kwamba leo ni siku ya Jumatano. So leo tuko na chui mnyamwe. Eh mnyamwe mwenye ndio shachili hapa. Amen. Ready kwa ajili ya kukupa ile michongo ya kitu gani ambacho kitoka na happen weekend kwa ajili ya kutoa zile complimentaries tickets kwa ajili ya have fun weekend. So unataka kufanya Uh, ili chui mnyamwezi aweze kukupa ticket tena mm. ya VIP mm-hmm. ambapo sehemu ambapo utakuwa utakuwa unahudumiwa na kupata vinywaji vya Serengeti Premium Light mm. bure bila malipo yoyote kabisa ni wewe sasa hivi kupiga picha yako ukiwa uh-huh. na kinywaji chako mkononi cha Serengeti Premium Light then uka posti kwenye page yako ya Instagram mm-hmm. yes na kuweka hashtag ya serebuka with every bite yeah. na utatagi pia page ya Serengeti Premium Light yes, on then baadaye uh, influencer kutoka Serengeti Premium Light ataweza kutangaza mshindi na yule mshindi ataweza kupewa ticket na chui mnyamwezi mm. na weekend ataweza kudondoka kiwanja chochote ambacho kitakuwa kina happen mm-hmm. na atakuwa anapata Serengeti Premium Light zake bure kabisa lakini chui mnyamwezi ana deal na ladies only yeah, only this ladies. Is for the ladies guys only ladies. don't get it twisted usio kama mjee kama ray hapo yeah, unaposta uh, uh, this is for the ladies yes. ladies wanakuwa na wa michongo wanapewa wapi pana bata burudani gani na inafanyika na of course kutakuwa na kupona kama uvosema ami mm. kwamba una post picture pia kutakuwa na maswala na ulizo na influencer yeah. wao ukipatia yale maswali unapata kuponi hashtag #serebuka with everybody Every na ila tukumbushane tu haiuzi wala kusambazwa kwa wenye umri chini ya miaka 18 na kunyo kistarabu yeah. be a gentleman be a lady be a madam like madam rita oh, yes. guys, kunyo, <laughs> mom come on guys <laughs> we are coming back to not go nowhere <laughs> Baby, nilijua umenipotezea. Karibu mami. Wow. Eh 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 eh. eh Niache, ulichonitia? Eh, na kukupetipeti kote huku. Baka na tuma mimi. Kama ungenijali usingechepuka na ungekubali uende tukapime. Ah. Hata kama ukikutwa nao, matibabu ya vivyu yapo. Tena papo hapo. Hmm. Na bado tuendelea na mipango yetu. Ah, mama. Bado na mind vitu vidogo tu. Ubapima inatosha. Na maana tupo barida mami. Yaani nimefunga duka langu mpaka kuja kukusikiliza. Kumbe hujabadilika. La. <coughs> Kwa hiyo. Da, ali sana nimania kinoma hisi. Ila kweli nitogopa kwenda kujicheki mpaka lini? Sio kesho wala nini hapo itabidi nijipange ngajicheki. Tutembelea kituo cha kutolea huduma za afya cha serikali kwa vipimo na huduma za matibabu ya VVU bila malipo. Ujumbe huu umeletwa kwenu na Wizara ya Afya, Maendeleo ya Jamii, Jinsia, Wazee na Watoto kupitia kitengo cha Elimu ya Afya kwa Umma, kushirikiana na watu wa Marekani kupitia Pepfa. Guys, tupo na Madam Rita Ray right here kwenye The Switch na pigana ma story kibao you already know. Oh, so yeah. yeah. Madam karibu sana kwenye The Switch. Asante Na of course sana. kama tulivyosema leo kuna vitu vingi ambavyo watu tabidi wavifahamu yes. kuhusiana na maisha yako kwanza kama ambavyo rafiki yako amesema umekuwa na inspire sana yeah. lakini moja kati ya ndoto kubwa ambayo umekuwa nayo ni kuweza kuwabadilishia vijana wengi maisha yao mm. kupitia upande wa burudani sanaa 
na kupitia vipaji ambavyo wao wamekuwa navyo mm. na kwa muda mrefu sana umefanya hiyo kuanzia season 1 mpaka leo hii tunazungumzia season 11 mm. hiyo sio kitu kidogo journey, kabisa lakini region. hapa katikati again kumekuwa na changamoto nyingi sana mambo mengi yamejitokeza mm. especially katika mshindi wa mwaka jana Meshak mm. ilionekana kama vile kuna sin tufahamu ambapo watu hawajui mm. pale ambapo shutuma nyingi zinakuja kwako kampuni yako benchmark kama vile mshindi ana anakosa haki yake anazulumiwa apati mkwanja wake ikabidi mpaka wizara iingilie kati basata na vitu vya namna hiyo nini exactly kilitokea what really happened mm, actually basata haikuingilia kati mm. basata ilikuwa inaelewa tatizo mm-hmm. uh, ilikuwa hivi uh, bongo sasa uh, kawaida mm tunaanza mapema. Mm. Kwa hiyo mwaka jana tuli, the time tunakuja kubaliana kusign na mkataba na wadhamini wetu na kufanya mambo mengi. Ilikuwa muda umepita. Mm. Kwa hiyo tuka ndio maana uliona final ilifanyika December. Yeah, Tarehe 20 na Christmas mm. Eve. Mm. Yeah. Kwa hiyo pale uh, sisi uh, tulitakiwa tuwe tumemaliza pale mm. na sisi natomba ni naomba niwaweke uh, wazi hivi. Mm. Mkataba wetu na wadhamini wetu uko hivi mzamini mm. mzamini tunakubaliana hela kadhaa ya kuendesha vipindi na nini na vitu kama hivyo zawadi mm. kwenye mkataba naweza nikakuonyesha mm. mkataba wetu unasema zawadi to be provided by benchmark 360 unayo kwenye contract hiyo oh yes oh yeah mm. naona mm. kwa hiyo sisi ndo tunaamua zawadi mm. ni zawadi gani shilingi ngapi mm. tunatoa nini iko kwenye contract oh, yetu mm. na wale ambao wanatuzamini nafikiri mnafahamu mm. iko hivyo mm-hmm. kwa hiyo hii sio ile kwamba si nitafahamu kama walipewa hela hawajalipiwa yeah, no. ilionekana kama vile kuna hela imetoka alafu kama vile mmeipiga I, iko kwenye contract okay. sasa zawadi kwa issue tunakubali tukakubaliana na hilo kwamba tuna sisi tukisha sign a contract ile hela inakuwa haikizi mambo yote mm. kwa hiyo tuna, tunatafuta sponsors wengine na wao wanatafuta na sisi tunatafuta mm-hmm. wao wakipata sponsor mm-hmm. wana share na sisi uh, 40% mm-hmm. wanachukua 60% mm-hmm. sisi tukipata sponsor tunawapa 40% nyinyi mnachukua 60 uh, 60%, 60% yes. brings in yeah, yeah hiyo ni kwa sababu ile baseman na ni hela ile ya kuanzi ya, kufa, ya kuendesha kipindi inakuwa haitosherezi sana kwa tumepeana hivyo mm-hmm. kwa kipindi kile uh, tunavoanza mm. watu wameshafunga biashara zao na kipindi kilikuwa kigumu kind of hatukupata extra sponsors, sponsors yeah. mm. yeah. mm-hmm. kwa hiyo tukaendesha kipindi na ile ile hela ya ya, ya operations mm-hmm. tukapata tukao tumepata sponsor um, ambaye ni target ambaye walikuja alikuja kupitia kwa wao mm-hmm. ambao ni 40% kwenu exactly mm-hmm. so um, lakini sisi kwa kusema kwamba tulishaendesha kipindi twende kadi tunavoenda tunaweza tukapata ma sponsors wengine because mm-hmm. we like that mm-hmm. like you know what it's gonna work it's gonna work it's gonna work yeah. menelewa yeah. lakini as long as kipindi tutakimaliza ndo lengo zima mm-hmm. lengo zima sio hiyo hela ya zawadi lengo zima ni kufanya kipindi kuwapa mm-hmm. nafasi vijana waonyeshe kipaji chao mm. you know what i'm talking about mm. so tukaenda tukasema okay well kawaida tukifanya show tu, tukifanya finali tuna collect me pesa getini sio chini ya 20m na mm. yela alikuwa anatakiwa kupata cash in just 20m mm. oh. sio na nielewa mm. yeah. so tukao tume, tumetengeneza tickets tuna tunauza tickets ili watu waje pale um nani wapana itwa nini pale next door, next door. Mm-hmm kini muda muda ulikuwa tight mm. watu kumbe ni, ni christmas time watu wako it was yani it was, it was very tight kwamba mm. okay tukapata watu wachache kununua ticket hatukuuza kufika hata 10am mm. watu walikuwa wako nyumba it's christmas eve it's funny wachaga yeah. wachaga wanaenda huko yeah. kuhesabiwa funny time hata wewe hata you know hata, hata crew ilikuwa naonea huruma wako na familia zao mm. so we pushed but we didn't push we pushed but muda ulikuwa hautotoshi haikwenda vile ambavyo mlikuwa mnategemea kwa hiyo pale tulikuwa si kawaida yo get collection inatosha kumpa mtu zawadi okay mm-hmm. so we didn't make money on the get collection mm-hmm. but we were not worried mm-hmm. tumemaliza hicho kipindi tarehe 25 asubuhi of mm-hmm. course na sisi tuna mkataba wa zaidi ya tuna miaka mi, minne mm-hmm. sisi na na uko signed by the way mm-hmm. kwa hiyo tukajua kwamba okay we gonna get our money uh, show hii imeisha tunapata hela zingine za kuanzisha show nyingine ya msimu wa 11 huu hapa. Mm. Kwa hiyo uh, uh, show ikaisha tunajua okay fine tukatukamaliza na maliza na mambo mengine mengine hata kuisha kana lakini tuna mkataba mkataba ni hela. Mm. Tuna mkataba na na, 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 na na amount of money iko pale. Commitment. Mm. Na hiyo amount of money huo mkataba ni, ni 
yani ukilinganisha na hiyo ambayo alikuwa anatokea alipe it's mm. peanuts mm. so we are like okay fine what a christmas issue tuendelee next year uh, tutachukua about advance yetu kwenye ile hela ya 2011 mm. i mean ya season 11 hii mm. tutamalizana na huyo alikuwa anajua yeye alikuwa yuko aware na tunaongea naye mm-hmm. sisi hasa tujai kugombana na mishak by the way mm-hmm. hatujawahi hatakuwa na issue naye mm-hmm. kwa alikuwa tunamuelezea kuna changamoto hivi na hivi mm-hmm. so ile hela ile tukaenda Uh, nani ya uh, sponsors wetu walikuwa nalielewa hii hii sisi tulikuwa tuanze hii BSS kumali kupata advance yetu wa mwaka huu mm. tangu kabla ya corona mm. kwa sisi by mwezi wa pili mm. tulikuwa tuwe tumeshapata advance yetu mm-hmm. tumeshamalizana na Mishak mm. katokea issue ya nini ya corona mm. nafikiri kila mtu analijua hilo mm. yeah. so hivyo kwa muda ambao tulikuwa tumempa na huku yani mambo yakawa yamesimama mm-hmm. kama hivyo actually kuna wengine ambao wa, walikuwa wamesafiri huko kwenye sponsor uh, one of our sponsors mpaka leo wajarudigi wamekwama wame kule hiyo mm. haiwezi kufichika it had something to do with that mm. sisi tungekuwa tulishaanza BSS labda sasa hivi tungekuwa tukukaribia kumaliza msimu kwa sababu tulikuwa tunataka tumalize mapema kabla ya mambo ya uchaguzi mm. okay. ndio mpango mzima kwa tukua kwa tukua mwaka huu eh hey, tulikuwa tunajua kwa by february mwishoni march mm. tuna hela yetu ya advance mm. ya mwaka 2011 tumemalizana na mesha tunapiga kabla ya kabla ya uchaguzi tumemaliza mm. finally season 11 exactly mm-hmm. that was the plan mm-hmm. but who could control what happened mm. you understand mm. this thing imechukua muda mrefu na you know hata tukua tunategemea kama tutafanya hivi kama mm. isingekuwa hivi waliwaruhusu tufanye shughuli zetu mm. it was gonna be very very hard oh, yeah. kwa hiyo that's where we expecting the money from mm. so ile kwamba sijui nini sijui sijui wataperi sijui hatujawahi kutaperi na, man, yeah, na maneno yalikuwa ni mengi sana sasa watu wote washiriki wote ambao wamepitia BSS kuanzia 2006 mm. hakuna mtu hata mmoja ajaye kupewa zawadi yake oh yeah juma mm. naidi alipewa wakati wote tulianza na gari baadaye mm. tukabadilisha tukaingia kwenye hela wote walipewa hela zao na kawaida hatuwapi hela cash mm-hmm. tunawa fungulia account na most of them wakija kushiriki hawana account hawana kitambisho hawana chochote mm. tunawafungulia accounts mm-hmm. zao tunaweka mm-hmm. we have records sisi sio waongeaji wa kusema tunajisafisha sipi nini nini mm. we know what we're doing otherwise tusingekuepo hapa for 10 years mm-hmm. if we were real thieves mm-hmm. so nilikwazika fulani hivi kwa sababu kujenga brand sio kitu kidogo mm-hmm. for 11 years and then all of the sudden unasikia yani vitu kama hivyo mm. yeah so tuna kwa hiyo nata huyo mishak mwenyewe kabla ya hapo ya 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 ya, ya sinto family tukatafuta hela kidogo tukatumempa mm. kama advance plan mm-hmm. mm-hmm. tukatumempa kwamba mm. yani awe angalau na hiyo kind of thing so tunamuelezea vitu kama hivyo mm. lakini mm. ile kusema kwamba sisi tume 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 sijui tume tapeli tume mipia sijui mm. nini mimi sikuelewa kwa sababu tulikuwa tukutukua vizuri na na, na mishak mm. nashtukia tena nasikia press conference na mimi mm na kama le, kama hivyo my brother in law died and the next day naona kwenye mitandao ma, 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 mm. someone could have just spoken to me and understand my problem but mm. basata knew our issue kind of wale wanajua kwa sababu mm. hawa ndo wanatoa vibaya process hawa, zote zinaanzia huko na wewe unakuwa unafahamu of course mm. oh. wana to monitor na hiyo mm. na hiyo na hicho kipengele kwenye mkataba pia kinaeleweka of course mm. kwamba zawadi inatoka benchmark na sio kwenye hela oh, yes. sponsors na kila kitu mkataba upo naweza naweza kukufuadia ninayo hiyo clip kwa nani part kwenye simu yangu mm. oh, yeah. yes so mkataba unasema hivyo so sisi haitu mimi uh, issue ya kuweka zawadi kubwa na nini na nini mimi nilikuwa na yani it was my decision like okay huyu mtu asipotoka kimziki atatoka kimaisha mm. mm. that's been the case mm-hmm. and then the bigger the price the bigger the show mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you understand yeah. that was the strategy but i decide naweza nkaamua nkampa hii miwani mm nobody will say anything to me yeah. lakini kuna kitu sina sina ile kwenye kwamba lazima nitoe kitu kama lakini kuna notion watu ambao wanaifuatilia pia show na watu ambao wamekuwa kifuatilia wanaona kuna kuwa kana kama na zile brief case kama zile cases na kwa presented kwenye that. show mm. na hizo brief case ndio watu wanaamini kwamba mesha kitakayo chukue mchele wake kwa sababu brief case zimeletwa kwenye live mm. on tv ah uh-uh, mm. sasa it 
cannot be done anywhere. Mm. Sile, sisi ni watu wa production. Mm. Tunaboresha meetup. Huwezi kubeba hela mm. milioni 20 mm. au milioni 50 kwenye briefcase ukaileta kwenye show. Mm. You can mm. die. Hiyo mm. ni iku, ni mbwembwe tunakuwa tumetengeneza karatasi tunaweka hivi mm -hmm. ni kama vile mnavotumia dummy check. Mm -hmm. So unaweka kicheck kikubwa namna hiyo. Mm -hmm. Ile inakuwa ni check ya ukweli. Mm -hmm. So instead of using normal tu. dummy checks sisi tuna kama hivyo mnavojiweza. Watu wanakuwa walikuwa na hiyo notion sasa. Uh, sasa that's the whole thing about now. production. You want them to think like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Lakini sio mara ya kwanza uh, hela ya mshiriki inachelewa mm -hmm. unaota chirambo na nini vitu kama hivyo kuna process mm -hmm. mtu upende ama account ni nini yani sana sana bss kisha it takes three months mm -hmm. miezi mitatu yeah three months actually aliposhindaga uh, chirambo tulikuwa tuko na watu wa zanta kipindi hicho na wao ndio walikuwa wao walisema watatoa zawadi 50 mm -hmm. million ndio walituanzishia mambo ya 50 million mm -hmm. ichelewa lakini alikuwa patient alisubiri mm -hmm. na akaipata yote oh, yeah. even ni vitu unavijua hata nyinyi najua hapa kwenye hii biashara yenu mm -hmm. kama mnafanya kazi na sena phone companies uh, hamwezi kulipa kabla ya siku tisini wongo ukweli yeah, yeah. yeah. mm. mara nyingi ndio imeka hivyo kimikataba kwa hiyo unarusha tangazo hapo la hilo uh, bia ulikuwa unaongea mnalipwa leo hapana si naenda how many 90 days si ndio inabidi yeah. mm. watu waelewe sisi ni wafanya biashara kuna vitu vingine sio so you, you need to get to understand kwa hiyo hii sio kwamba ilikuwa imechelewa kivile mm. na ni vizuri tu kumfata mtu kumuuliza kwamba hey vipi hapa inaendaje inaendaje tutakuelewesha mm. You know, understand yeah. that's how it works oh yeah you know na shamaliza na mesha safi kabisa by the way ukitoa mesha ambayo ilikuja front na kuweka hiyo press pamoja na naibu waziri na nini baadaye tukaona pia watu kama kina Jumanne Idi uh, mtu kama pia Kayumba na akaanza kufanya interviews naye anazungumza kwa upande wake vya kwake kwamba yeye mimi niliamua kukaa kimya na nini kila mtu akaja na, na, na story zake kwa kwa wewe kama mtu ambaye ndio muandaaji ndio uko front hai ku disappoint sometimes pale ambapo unahisi unatamani kuainua vijana then at the end of the day wanakuja ku disappoint kama hivyo kwenye interviews wanaongea na bado correct hiyo yeah. press haikuitwa na Mishak oh yeah iliitwa na naibu waziri naibu waziri ya <laughs> Mishak hana power hiyo oh yeah mm. So how could this point here? So uh, yeah. na hivyo uh, sizani kama uh, Jumanaidi alisema kwamba hajapewa zawadi zake. Mm. Aliongea. Lakini kuna watu wa, wa, mara nyingi wa, they, they fail to talk to the media kind of. Lakini I think mm. Jumanaidi hawezi kusema hicho kwa sababu Jumanaidi yeye mm. alikuwa ana afu nashangaa tunaongelea Jumanaidi wa 10 years ago. Kama angekuwa na Sintofam bangoje miaka 10 ndio aje kuongea sasa hivi kama Imagine yeah. So uh, ni hivi kitu kilichonishangaza sana ni mm. Kayumba kusema kwamba hajapata mm. pesa zake. Yeah. Hiyo kidogo ilinikwaza kwa sababu msimu wa Kayumba anashinda tulikuwa na sponsorship nzuri sana. Mm. Kayumba alikuwa very lucky. Tulipo, uh, yani na nilikuwa nimepania kwamba tulikuwa nimemaumizo sana ile kusema mshindi atoki mshindi atoki. Kwa hiyo mimi nikampata pale nikamunganisha na management Nigeria kind of mm. and the money came mm. I have is to me mfungulia bank account Stanbic iko paka leo mm. bank statements ziko 50 million back cash kumweka pale kampeleka South Africa at my own cost I was staying mm. in with an with an apartment in South Africa in Santon town in Santon city Santon city mm. You know, yeah. took him to shopping H and M Zara, you name it. Mm. I went. We shot a video with him with Campus Company. Mm. Uh, uh, yani videos you know, costing more than six thousand mm. dollars. We paid to me and I. We talk about Mulisa MX. I come here to me and I. We come here even now. To me, car parties. To that, to record a revival. To record a record. To talk. I'm not sure. To record a video. To record a ticket. Everything we stayed. How was paying. So. Yeye kusema kwamba afu mimi na yeye hatujai kuwa na hiyo issue kwamba anadaya au nini mm, mm. ile kwa, sijui ilikuwaje maskini kwa sababu mimi naendelea kuongea naye sina gatabu na mtu mimi oh, yeah. I just forget mm. I even yesterday other day I invited we, we I, I, I've never fought with him we are not you know enemies mm. maybe ni mambo ya kikikiki sijui yeah. inakuwaje mpaka yeah. una yeah. unaona watu wanapita na upepo pia mm. no 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 he got his money whatever happened to his money and I do yeye lakini hii si pesa yake alipata wote chirambo alipata kasi analipata nafikiri mmeona umetoa yeah. testimony zao kuna kuwa kwenye BSS kuna utaratibu wa counseling kwa hao washindi ambao kama umesema waliwahi kupata pesa zao na labda kuna kuna namna ambavyo wana, wanakuwa wanaambiwa namna ya ku behave kwa na nidhamu ya pesa na vitu vinavyo mm. mnafanya kitu kizuri mnapokuwa mmewekea kwenye account mm. kwa sababu unakuwa tena again sio machizi wa hizo pesa na, na vitu vina namna hiyo nadhani baada ya pale nyinyi mnakuwa tena hamuangalia muafuatilii juu ya matumizi umemention hata hapa kwa kayumba kwamba hujui alifanya nini na pesa zake mm. wanakuwa wanapata ushauri before Waki, pesa ni kitu kingine mm. 
pesa ni kitu kingine when money arrives you have so many relatives mm. yeah. you have so many advisors hata ni sema sizani kama Misha kile ilikuwa ni yeye there's so much pressure around him wazazi ndugu matakata bitu kama hivyo so yani and then they are no longer kwenye mikono yako so mm. kuna kuwa kuna advice nyingi and uh, Uh, yani sijui ni kwambie nini yani sicheze na hela mm. wana wanaokuwa nasukumia hiyo hela kuitafuta na hata sio wao washiriki mm. most of the time ni watu wanaowa pembeni yao mm. mm. na, 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 na ushauri mwingi na vitu kama hivyo so i don't know how it's going to work but yeah kuna hiyo push na labda maskini ya Mungu kaiumba labda sijui what happened to him but mm. we gave him his money and mm. kaiumba hii tukaiumba by the way mimi najua majina yake ambayo yako kwenye pay slip mm. yake so i don't know what happens but we make sure we give kwa sababu mimi naweza nikachelewesha lakini lazima nilipe kwa sababu mimi tusipomlipa zawadi tuliyoahidi yeah. tunafungiwa kipindi yeah. na ndio maana hatujawahi kufungiwa kipindi hata siku moja oh, yeah. kwa hiyo mimi hii nchi ni yangu kwa mfano mm-hmm. mimi ni is room watu akuniendelea kufanya bss do i own this country yeah. who am i yeah. mm. who am i mm. eh mm. migdera tu <laughs> so at the end of the day hai could disappoint hiyo kuona kwamba unajaribu kuwa inua vijana then at the end of the day unakuja kudisappoint wanaongea kwenye media na nini then disappoint sana na ijanza leo yeah. uh, lakini the, for some reason na wapenda sana pia na usamee yeah. when i need them i call them when they need me i respond i like that i like that uh, sijanga sijawahi kuwa na kusikia nimewachukia hata kidogo mm. inaitwa kuwa na moyo mkubwa huo yeah, again kabisa. inaenda na title ya madam yeah. a madam always a madam sasa hivi kaimba ni rafiki yangu na wow. wapenda sina sijawahi kusikia kuwa inauma lakini sijawahi kusikia kama you know namchukia au mm. sijui no oh yeah. Yeah. yeah ya kizazi sana ulifanya launch ya msimu wa 11 wa BSS 2020 na of course waziri wa habari utamaduni sanaa na michezo Dr. Harrison Mwakembe alikuepo na aliongea pia liti ya changamoto nyingi ambazo umepitia lakini pia siku ile uliweza kuomba radhi mbele yake na, na kwa taifa naweza nikasema hivyo lakini pia akatambua mchango wa kwako na mchango wa BSS kwenye kubadilisha maisha vijana lakini pia akakumbushia kitu ambacho kimekuwa ni mafanikio zaidi kwenye entertainment industry kwenye sanaa na burudani pale ambapo inasemekana ndio moja kati ya sekta ambazo zimechangia pia kwa asilimia kubwa pato la taifa na akatambua mchango wa BSS na kukupa moyo kwamba siku yoyote ile utakapokuwa unahitaji support utaipata maneno kwanza kama yale kutoka kwa waziri kwako kama mtu ambaye umesema sometimes and umekuwa unakutana na vitu lakini kama unataka kurudi nyuma hivyo na kuwa disappointed and stuff like that yalikupa nguvu kiasi gani Ah, ah. Sijawahi kuvunjika moyo kama kitu kilichotokea mwaka jana in my life tangu nianze kufanya issue. Sikutegemea kwamba nimea mi mwenyewe I was pinching myself kama are you really going to do this again? Mm. Sababu kitu kilichotokea last year hiyo uh, kashfa nini haikuwa hajai kutokea tangu nianze kufanya biashara zangu ambayo uh, benchmark is more than 15 years. It's 20 years right mm. now. Mm na sio kwamba nilikuwa nafanya shughuli zangu ili nisifiwe lakini nilikuwa nakaa sawa tu na watu so mm. the first time ilitokea hiyo kashfa mimi ni uh, kwamba unajua ukiwa na dhamana ukisema kitu kinaenda mbali mm. kwa hiyo uh, mtu mwenye dhamana alivongea mimi sisi ni wezi ni matapeli sijui hatuna mikataba vitu vyote tulikuwa navyo tuko hivyo vizuri sana uh, inumiza sana sana lakini nafikiri imenijenga sana pia mm. na mimi sikujibu sana sikuongea na media kind of lakini it was very painful mm. na ile presence ya uh, mheshimiwa mwakembe kuepo pale mm. na jinsi alivyoongea ilininua sana wala sikuitegemea wala sikutegemea atasema hivyo mm. kwa hiyo i'm just a bit, yani i was being me and i was like okay fine you know who you are mm. wewe sio mtapeli wewe sio hujamzulumu mtu just be you. Mm. So kwangu mimi ilininua sana na imenipa moyo alivyosema kwamba tuko na wewe na hatuwezi kuacha tunatambua mchango wako. Nilikuwa sijasikiaga hivyo. Mm. Na wana kwa muda mrefu. So maybe kichotokea mwaka jana nitakiwa hiki kichotokea sasa hivi kiwepo. Mm. Kwa hiyo ndio wanasema well. changamoto inakufunza ina, ku, ina mm. kila kitu kinatokea kwa sababu. Kwa hiyo the way I was uh, like uh, really disappointed uh, yani nimevunjika moyo fulani hivi. Mm 
si, nafikiri isingetokea hivi labda hiyo kauli labda isingeisikia labda ingekuwa wanavisikia yeah. wanaviongelea labda isingetokea kwa hiyo mimi nimshukuru sana mm. it lifted me up so much mm. japokuwa nisha nishaenda back on my feet mm. uh, it, it meant a lot afu alisema kwamba uh, mimi niliomba msamaha sio kwamba ni akasema sio kwamba umekosea wewe mm. mimi niisema hivyo kwa sababu uh, fans wetu hawezi kuelewa mm-hmm. na hatuwezi kuelezea kila fan mmoja mmoja kila mtu ana ana, ana jinsi anavyoelewa mm-hmm. na mimi napenda fans wangu pia uh, walikuwa gaja mimi katika watu wanaotukana watukana wa kwenye mitandao mm-hmm. kwa sijai kutukana nili tukana matusi mengi sana mm-hmm. inumiza kidogo mm-hmm. yani I was like oh my god so i felt like my fans wame wameumia mm-hmm. that's the reason why i asked for uh, ku nani kufanya nini kwa ku, msamaha kwa sababu mm-hmm tunawapenda mimi nawapenda najua mm. pia wao wananipenda so hiyo mm. mapenzi yao tunapo interact inanipa maisha yeah, so yeah, i felt yeah. really disappointed like i've really disappointed my fans mm. you know my viewers they are deep down in my heart i felt like naomba msamaha kwa wao kwa sababu havi wahusu mm. lakini vime wakwaza yeah. na endelea kuwafanya hivyo endelea kutupenda kwa sababu that even the kitchen to katika mapenzi yao hayo ndio yananifanya yanaongezea katika ujasiri wangu naongezea kuifanya nisikie vizuri yeah. niwe na nguvu ya kuendelea na it means a lot to me my fans what they say about me so for the first time they really really abused me so much and it was mm. very very hard oh yeah it was uh, an experience that nikwaga sijai kuwa nayo oh yeah so sorry, so sorry why for you. i had to apologize to them yeah by the way pia waziri mwakiembe pale aliendelea akatambua changamoto ambayo imekuwa inaikuta entertainment industry licha ya kwamba entertainment industry imekuwa ikichangia pato la taifa au imechangia pato la taifa kwa asilimia hizo kubwa mm. lakini pia kumekuwa na changamoto ya ya sponsors kwamba sponsors katika issues kama hizi sometimes wanakuwa hawapati nafasi ya kushiriki kuenda kuwekeza katika kujitangaza lakini pia kuwekeza kile ambacho kinaweza kuendesha vitu kama hivi na waziri pia pale aka promise na akakwambia hata wewe atashughulikia ili swala na ataongea na baadhi ya wadau mm. na nadhani nataka kuitisha kitu kama forum or something like that yeah. ili kuweza kuweka kama discussion kwa nini sponsors kwenye vitu kama hivi hawajitokezi hence natokea changamoto kama hiyo yeah. akakwambia pia na wewe atalishughulikia hilo swala mm-hmm. ni kama vile pia waziri anajaribu kupunguza mzigo sio tu kwa benchmark wa madam Rita kwa BSS lakini kwa entertainment industry yote kwamba sponsors now waanze kuwekeza au kusponsor vitu vya hapa ndani again hiyo ni moja kati ya kauli kubwa sana na nadhani itamaliza hii changamoto ya sponsors yeah. baada ya pale mliongea na hii kauli unaichukuliaje mimi niseme kwamba back again mm. uh, kid uh, what what happened uh, uh, last year hii issue iliyotokea mm. nafikiri nime wao pia wame realize kwamba ingekuwa na tuna sponsorship ya kutosha mm. tusingefikia pale tulipopikia yeah. mwaka jana yeah. mm. kwa hiyo labda tungekuwa na sponsorship ya kutosha tusingetegemea yani sisi yani tu, it, whatever happened last year isingetokea yeah. yeah. sponsorship ni ndogo na show ni kubwa kwa hiyo mimi ilinitia moyo sana na nilipenda na i was so happy kwa hiyo you know whatever happened has made things better yeah. you know so you know yani nilikuwa na jipinch na juuliza ndo mimi au mm. like i couldn't feel myself mm. so like uh, yeah na na tulikuwa tunahitaji kama hivyo kwa sababu mm. mara nyingi unaweza ukafikiri bss mkubwa ukaona labda wanapewa sana hela nyingi yani tunahitaji more than uh, one sponsor hii washikirie hiki unashikirie kile so yeah i imetutia moyo na i'm very sure hiyo pia mm. itasababisha uh, kuepo na show zingine kama zetu hivi sasa hivi sisi issue kama hiyo bss iko hiyo tu yeah. na issue ni kwamba hakuna sponsorship kuna mm. show zingine zilikuwa nzuri zimeanza nini wanaacha wanaona mm. ah what when mm. fear nini hapa kwa sababu yeah. you know you cannot be using your money all the time so sponsorships yeah. it was a bit of a problem and wao wakiweka neno lao kama serikali inaweza kutusaidia pia ku, ku watu kuwa wana sponsor michezo kama alivyosema na shows zingine na nini mm. ili kuwe tuwe wadau wengi eh, badala ya kuwa wachache kind of mm. yeah hapa yeah. nitakuliza kitu personal kidogo i hope you don't mind umepitia changamoto cha hivi kipindi cha hivi karibuni na umekuwa unakuwa umemention sana hiyo how did you overcome that uli, uli ulivuka vipi kwa sababu kila mtu ana namna yake ya kuweza kupambana na situations kama hizo Kali. <laughs> Shapitia nyingi lakini hii ilikuwa back to back. Mm. Ilikuwa 
uh, kifamilia ni kwa nimepoteza mtu ambaye nampenda sana mume mm. wa mdogo wangu ambaye anazaliwa after me mm. and then that ikahit nilikuwa mkimya mm. i took silence and i became i believe i mean i'm a believer mm. so nikajua nitaweza tu mm. so just sikuwa na sikuwa sikuwa na na uh, sikufanya kusema kwamba papara ni jibizani si ni fight and know i mm. just uh, took my time and had my time to myself i you lost know, silence and used my brain and this somehow i don't know the strength that i have because uh, sipendi kushindwa na sio kwamba nashindana ili nishinde lakini mm. najiambia you know this is not you mm-hmm. yeah. don't sink into this kuna sauti ndani yako inakwambia hivyo ina familia yangu wananipenda sana pia mm. They are very close to me when I'm here. Like in it was bad. Mm. It was really bad. But yeah. <laughs> no, see 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 think ki uraisi. Yani it's like mm. I'm like a sponge. Mm. Yeah. In a sponge you naweka kwenye maji na fionza mm-hmm. that. Yeah. So you I think I've seen a lot nothing can really really shake me that much. Oh, so yeah. sorry for you. Mina dali pia madam ya anawatanisha. But I cry but I you know wanna skitika mm-hmm. but still I can still stand there and be okay. Yeah. But that makes you stronger again. Yeah. Always. Yeah. Actually, yeah. madam ni superwoman. Nimekuja kuondoka kwa sababu kwa changamoto ambazo wamepitia kwa mtu mwingine angekata tamaa kabisa na kusema hata hiyo bongo star sasa tena sitaki kwa yeah. level ya kufika mpaka watu kuweza kuweka katika public na all those stuff. Kwanza ni kuongele kwa hiyo kuwa kama superwoman ni mtu ambaye hata ukina army watoto wadogo najifunza mm. mengi kama madam mm. kiukweli mimi napenda nimpongeze kwa hilo. Lakini kikubwa ni katika nifahamu kuhusiana na, na management ya nyie pamoja na wana wasanii wana ushinda iko vipi kwa 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 kwamba okay mshinda ameshinda je mnampa zawadi alafu unamwacha kwa sababu tumeona kuanzia uh, ile 2000 na ngapi ya jumanne jumanne hii mpaka sasa hivi washindi tunaosikia wameshinda lakini hatuoni consistency ya mziki wao hatuoni katika chat kwa mkataba wenu kama benchmark na mshindi ni kwamba mnampa zawadi and then anaenda kujitafutia au kuna management ambayo inamsimamia yule msanii kuweza kupromote ngoma zake kuweza kusukuma project zake sisi si ole code lebo kama mm. nyinyi hapa sisi mm. ni tunatengeneza uh, tunamulika vipaji tunafanya production mm. ya kuonyesha vipaji kwa hiyo from there onwards wanakuna wana wa, wa, wa wao wengi mm-hmm. you know so na tunasi hii watu watu wa wachukue wa manage mm. you know kind of thing so sisi tunakuwa tumeshamulika vipaji pale zaidi ya hapo uh, sponsorship yetu inaishia pale so mm. We want to do tunataka tufanye vitu ambavyo tunavijua vizuri kufanya. Sisi mm. tunafanya more production ya television mm. mambo ya ku manage label kama nini sio zetu. Mm. Na hatutaki kuchanganya vitu tukaja tukafeli. Mm. Kwa hiyo inakuwa ni tunaongea kila siku managers wanaruhusiwa kwa kama sasa hivi switch ana manager mm. um, ana manager Mishak mm. yani evil maybe with time itaeleweka lakini sisi hatuna hatuna management company ya wasani tuna produce kama hata kwenye idols America mm. mtu akitoka well, they don't deal with them Sonia namchukua na watu wengine namchukua that's how it is but oh. vitu vinachukua muda kueleweka labda mtu anaona nikimchukua huyo akihiti labda anamfaidisha madam mm. nina I'm done you with think... this person that's mm. what the problem is mm. no like ah ni msanii wa madam mm. 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 Sio, ni msani, ni mm. and it's a business and, uh, opportunity mm. wewe ukimuona unampenda labda uh, uh, Maria mm. mchukue kwa sababu wewe unaweza kutengeneza mwani of Maria mimi nimesha invest ndani ya Maria yeah. Maria anajulikana nchi nzima na kila mwe hahitaji ku invest hela nyingi ili ajulikane mm. kwa hiyo mtu anamchukua mkimesha kimchukue make money na kuwa nyinyi sasa mnafanya biashara mm. wanawe na, na invest hapa wewe umekuja he's already made eight let to say 70% mm, already, already met. met. Mm-hmm. Ushindwe wewe nini sasa mnafanya mikataba. Unahitaji tuwe na manager wengine wengi kwa hivi mchini hapa nafikiri tuna manager mmoja au wawili ambao wanajulikana na wamemanage watu vizuri mm. ambao ni hawa hapa kwa wasafi. Mm. We need more people like that. Wasanii hawa hapo tumemulika. Mm. Unaona unlike mtu anzie scratch huko hajai kuonekana na mtu mm. kama hivi. It's a hustle. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. it's a lot of money. Most definitely. Yeah. Menelewa sasa hivi. Hata yeah. wewe unaweza kuja ukachukua msanii ukimpenda. Mm. Unafanya show zetu na kuja pale. Yule alokuja nani yami katika karaoke? Sarafina. Sarafina. Mimi nadhani naweza kumanage Sarafina. Mm. And she's she's really really good. Yeah, okay. kabisa. Chukua manage. Afu mimi kwa sasa hivi sisi hata tutaki hiyo percentage. Yeah. Yeah. We are supposed to get in the yeah. normal world lakini yeah. For now since you got, we don't we're not taking anything from that. So oh, yeah. that's nice. nice. Yeah. So tuzungumzie kusiana na msimu wa 11. Uh, Imezoeleka mara nyingi pia kuona ikizinduliwa msimu 
mpya wa BSS lazima management nzima watakapo wale judges team ya judges watakuepo kwa ajili ya kuzungumzia um simu unaofuata sasa hivi tunaona ni madam Lita peke yake anakuja kwenye interviews na introduce huu msimu wa 11 kitu gani kinaendelea kuhusiana na judges ambao watakuepo kwenye msimu wa 11 ta surprise surprise ameniwahi sana tutafanya press conference nyingine ya ku introduce ma judge wetu wapi ambao watakuepo and then uh, of course uh, going to have all the artwork up and stuff like that. So mm. yes, hiyo itakuepo. Huyu ameniwahi. Mm. Ah. <laughs> I had to come for the interview. Yeah. But okay. yeah, they, they, we will have an introduction special for the oh, our, new, yeah. our new judges. Ile ya juzi tulikuwa tumefanya ya just to launch. Tunakuwa na press nyingi nyingi, break the ice, kumaliza sin tofahamu. Amani wanaonisikiliza Misha kalilipwa hela zake. Nipendeni tena please. <laughs> <laughs> They got love for you. I like to love. I love people and I love to be loved. Most definitely. They got love for you. So kwa 2020 direction ya BSS inakuwaje na vitu gani ambavyo umeweza kupitia kama changamoto ambavyo umesema kila changamoto inapotokea maana yake kuna jambo jema linakuja. Kuna changamoto hizi ambazo zimetokea hapa katikati zimeweza kuboresha direction ya BSS for 2020 and going forward. Yeah. Uh, changamoto ambazo tume, kama ulivyoona nivongea mm. uh, especially issue ya zawadi we are going to look into it how tunaweza kuifanya ili isije yani ikitokea kwamba hatuja make extra mm. sponsorship mm. tunafanyaje yeah, yeah, yeah. unaona mm. hiyo ni moja kata kitu ambacho kinaboreshwa kina, kina hicho yeah. mm -hmm. tuna vinginevyo mm. kwa hiyo kitu kingine ambacho tunataka kubadilisha mwaka huu show yetu itakuwa ina mfumo mwingine tofauti it's going to be very very interesting oh, oh yeah nice uh, so it's a uh, sita kikwambia mm. <laughs> no yeah, tumejaribu tumejaribu kubadilisha uh, the whole uh, system ya uh, competition itakavyokuwa mm. Mm. Um, on a production part to become more creative mm -hmm. uh, so mtaona itakavyokuwa so we are more like now doing the show for content oh yeah you know sio kwamba tunafanya eh random we know we are now going to produce con proper content entertainment show oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. i like that so we cutting out that all random kind of thing so tutakuwa tunawakatia more of an entertainment so the production part tuta improve zaidi mm. lakini changamoto kubwa ile imewahi kutusumbua ni kama hiyo zingine mm. tunaweza ga kuzimudu na vitu kama hivyo mm. by the way zinakuwepo nyingi sana mm. lakini labda tuje tuonyeshe siku moja behind the scenes <laughs> most definitely we need that we need to see that kabisa tunahitaji kuja kuona sana nyingi sana nyingi mm. sana yani people need to know productions not a joke Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, to, to, that's how production is all about. Mm. Nasisi, we like challenges and all that. Mm. So, we like challenges and all that. I don't think it, I can handle it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Again, I'm going to ask you a question. And I hope you don't mind that. I'm going to ask you a question. 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 Again naelewa kuendesha crew ya production ya watu wengi kama ambavyo imekuwa ikifanya BSS and stuff like that. Na mshindi inabidi apate mkwanja wake kati yake and stuff like that. Mm. Kwako wewe, this is personal though. Pamoja na benchmark. Are you guys satisfied? Are you guys make money out of it? Nyie mnapata mkwanja. Nyie uh, vitu vina vina happen, vitu vinatokea. Kuna mnatengeneza mchele kwenye hii biashara. <laughs> sisi uh, sisi vimi sio. Uh, <laughs> na mshahara mm. na ile kwa hiyo tunalipa mshahara yetu mm. ile kusema natengeneza endeni niweke kwenye separate account mm. no yes yes bila milioni 300 huwezi hata kuianza oh. more than that mm. that is even that is not less than that mm. 300 and above mm. and 300 yenyewe ndio kama hiyo jana mm. last year ikatukwaza tukabaki mm. we had that oh yeah mm. only for production but, ifa production mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. bado sio kwamba ni yeye eh, peke yake maisha kalikuwa natudai kuna watu wengine ambao wanadai crew ni nini ni vitu kama because we want the best we hire the best people and mm -hmm. stuff like that so kukuambia ile ukweli below that haujateng hakuna mchele wa kulapa ndio kweli maana 
kuna judges ya bwana lipo kuna safari kuna production kuna hoteli huko kiukweli ya madam mimi nataka nakana washiriki mwezi mingapi mwezi miwili wanakaa kwenye mashamba kuna maura wana chef bado kuna hoteli yanakudai kwa ajili ya accommodation of course nataka nifahamu kuhusiana na benchmark production ya video tunakumbuka zamani ilikuwa inafanyika video kali sana kutoka benchmark tumeona mikasi ya ngwe ya video kibao lakini suddenly tukaona tena benchmark production video atuioni tena na ukitazama sasa hivi mziki ndio kama uko on peak wa moto kabisa production zinazaliwa imekuwaje kwenye upande wa benchmark uh, video sasa hivi labda tunaweza tukarudi lakini wakati huo tulivyokuwa tunafanya sisi mm. uh, ilikuwa wasanii kwa hawezi kulipa mm. ilikuwa hakuna hela mm. na think you remember kwa yeah. tulikuwa tunafanya kama na sisi tuna branding. kwa tulikuwa tu branding tuma mm. tunafanya for branding tulikuwa tu alafu Uh, mimi napenda kufanya vitu vizuri i'm really mambo ya quality kwa hiyo mm. na spend money kwenye mm. mabazi sio location mm. vitu kama hivyo so tulifanya kwa tukao tunaona hailipi mm. and uh, tuka tuka tumeachana nayo alafu baadaye mm. ikaanza kuwa uh, unajua technology na change yeah, yeah, yeah. technology kaanza kuchange kila mtu akawa anaweza kufanya ka video hapa na pale na nini so ndio tuka tuka change game tukaingia kwenye mambo ya kutengeneza vipindi unaona mm-hmm. so tukaingia kwenye vitu vingine so every now and then kwenye biashara ukiona watu wamekuwa wengi na move on to another one yeah. you know i'm always thinking of another level and another level. by the way congratulation wendo ambaye ni mmoja kati ya watu ambao umepave the way mm. ume chonga barabara umetengeneza injia mpaka leo hii umekuwa na pia <coughs> productions kali za mm. music videos really? so you already know so nadhani tumepiga masori kibao na nadhani leo kama madam rita ameweza kuelezea vitu vingi sana yeah. if there's anything you want to share to the fans ah ndio mwambie tu bss itaanza tena tutaanza tutaanzia mbea what date mbea tunaanzia mbea oh yeah Uh, September tarehe 19 oh, yeah. and that's first audition tunaenda mbea tunaenda na Misha mm. kwa umesha ndugu zake kwamba huya hapa yeah. tuja mzurumu oh, yeah. <laughs> I like that nice. ya kizazi hiyo kwa tunaanzia mbea for that reason and then tutaenda Arusha Mwanza na Danodoma tunapiga kazi kama kawaida wow. tunaomba washiriki wajitokeze mimi najua watajitokeza yeah. unajua kama they can feel we not those kind of person na tuko hivyo kwa mtu jaye kusulumu mtu so ni washauri tu waendelee kuangalia watazamaji wetu waendelee waje kushiriki mm. it will be good one day iko mm. siku wasanii wengi 80% i hope mtakuwa niko hai hapa yeah. da hapa mm. Tanzania mm. 40% watakuwa wana, somehow somewhere wanahusika na BSS wow. Wow. So, I like to trust me i like the next one hiyo ni kubwa sana nice feel nice yeah, yeah. yeah. kitaeleweka tu siku moja i got to buy that <laughs> congratulations for that hiyo yes. ni kubwa sana ndoto kubwa hiyo yes Yeah so mbea tarehe 19 yeah. September. Yeah, September yeah ah, I like that hapo no yeah and then what's going where well? tunaenda Arusha Arusha and then Mwanza and then Dodoma I like that that's mm. tukao tunaongelea um, tarehe hizo lakini mbea kuna wasanii wengi wakali kwa hiyo wajitokeze that's my sana. home city wish, oh, yeah. wish yeah. you all the best by <laughs> the way mengi mm. sana <laughs> Wish you all the best Madam Rita. Nadhani leo tumeweza kupiga masori kibao. Shara kwa kila mtu ambaye aliweza kufuatilia show kuanzia time ile mpaka time hapa. Washikaji ambao wametazama pia kwenye YouTube, kwenye TV na kusikiliza kwenye radio. Comment then unajua ziko nyingi za kutosha so you already know. Unaweza pia kawa na moja kati ya watu ambao umeshaweka comment zako hata kwenye Instagram and stuff like that. Baada baadaye pia najua Madam na atakuwa nakutana nazo mm. na leo ameweza ku clear there na kuelezea vitu vingi sana. Yeah. Thanks for your time and wish you all the best. Account yeah, account yeah, account 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 yeah. Account yeah. Account yeah. Account yeah. Rita Paulson, right? M. S Rita Paulson. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Account yake ile nyamwanzo bana ilikuwa hacked and stuff like that. Mambo mm-hmm. ni mengi yeah. Yeah. Ni machangamoto hivi. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Guys, we're signing out lakini hatuwezi kuondoka vivi lazima tuondoke na zile fact zile za Serengeti premium light definitely yeah. katika fact ya leo bwana mimi nakuambushe tu vijana ambao nasikiliza right now ni kwamba unapokunywa Serengeti uh, Serengeti premium light ni kwamba kunywa katika kiasi ambacho unahisi kwamba wewe unaweza kukimudu yeah. tunaongea kila siku kwamba usiweze kunywa kupitiliza kana kwamba mpaka sasa inakuwa unawakwaza wewe sako tuliongea mambo ya Eminem hapa kuja overdose eh, Eminem kuja overdose na all those stuff so kunywa katika level ambayo unahisi kwamba bwana mimi level yangu labda ni bia saba za 10000 umenua 10000 pale umetoa umenua bia zako saba kama ni saba ni saba unapozidisha unakuwa unawakwaza wezako na siku zote tunasema kwamba kunywa kistaarabu na haiuzwi na wala kusambazwa kwa yule mwenye umri chini ya miaka 18 hey.
and so don't drink and, and drive. drive. You already know. Guys, me the MVP, half man, half amazing. Lil Omi, king of interviews. Like when you a girl. I'm a girl. With Morento right here. Rame Shana, the young king. Pa! One and two, I'm Kali DJ. Kid Lux, shout out to Alan Donut, the producer, Nick Mills. Amani Madebe, who else? And shout out to RJ, the DJ, Washkadio Music Department. Well, we're being international, you yeah, name right it. And everybody. Yeah. By the way, Pia, thanks, Madam Rita. Kwa time yako kudondoka, hapa tumipigia ma story ya vitu kibao, ya? Napole kwa surprise. Guys. <laughs>